everyone. Happy Tuesday. It's Connor here. Welcome back. Hope you all have had a good start to your day. All right, so I have got a few new candle reviews to share with you guys today. First up here, we're going to be talking about Yankee Candles Pumpkin Maple Creme Caramel. And then a little bit later on today, I will put up a review of a Bath & Body Works fall candle. So just a couple of reviews to share with you guys today. All right, so Pumpkin Maple Creme Caramel from Yankee. This is a new scent from Yankee. It is a part of their new fall collection for this fall of 2023. Um, I have already reviewed two of the candles in this collection. I did a review of the Evening River Walk and the Spicy Sangria. Definitely check those out if you did miss them. I'll link them in the description. Um, I still have two more to go after this because there are five in the collection. And those should be coming out over the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for those. But um, yeah, let's talk Pumpkin Maple Creme Caramel. I've been very excited to review this one for you guys because I definitely have some thoughts on this one. Um, I really wanted to make sure I burned it before I reviewed it and got some good burning time um, because I feel like this is just such a great scent, but there are like things about it that I feel like could throw people off. So um, we'll get into all of that. Um, as you can tell by the burn, it doesn't really look like I've done too much burning. And I will say I've probably burned this a good five or six times. I just think that these are very slow burning this year. I don't really know what Yankee changed in the formula. I think that they may have changed their wicks in these signature jars. Let me know if you've had the same experience, but my wicks just seem to be doing um, much slower burns. They're not puny. Like, I'll go ahead and show you guys right now. Those are not puny wicks. The wicks are doing good, but I have not had to trim these wicks once. And I am seeing that little um, white, like the little white um, fiber in the middle, I guess. So I don't know, maybe they changed the wicks, um, but these just seem to be burning very slowly, which I guess is a good thing for most consumers. But for me as a reviewer, I like to be able to get through, you know, the candles quickly so that I can review more for you guys. Um, but I did just want to mention that, but I've definitely had some good burn time on this. I would say I've gotten almost like a solid probably 15 hours out of this. So um, anyways, let's go ahead and get into the scent notes and description on this one. Actually, before I do, let me mention this. I love the label on this one. This is the Two Wick um, Signature Tumbler. So um, it is the Soy Paraffin Blend. And I just love these pumpkins right here. And you have the crepe and um, it's just really pretty. I love this label. I feel like Yankee does pretty well in the label department, um, especially with the signatures. I just think that they are very pretty. Okay, now let's get into the uh, notes and description. All right, so the description on this one says, enjoy the fragrance of this creamy, delicious treat with cinnamon, sugar, brown butter, spiced pumpkin, and maple glaze. Your top notes are cinnamon, sugar, and glazed icing and brown butter. Your mid notes are caramel, spiced croissant dough, and pumpkin. And your base notes are vanilla, icing, and maple. Okay, so this is a very, very delicious scent. I really like this one. I feel like this is one of the um, best new releases from Yankee that we've had in a while. I really like the scent. Um, I feel like I'm going to get a lot of questions. Is this cloying? To me, this is not a cloying candle. I could see how it could be cloying to a lot of you. I'm sure it's going to be cloying to a good amount of you. For me, it is not cloying. I find it to be this very delicious um, blend of pumpkin and maple and caramel. It's just really delicious. It is definitely very sweet. You've got to have a sweet tooth. You've got to enjoy those sweeter type scents. But if you do, then this is going to be right up your alley. Um, so 
the caramel in here I definitely pick up. It is a really nice, sweet, sugary caramel. It's not cloying to me, but I do think it could be cloying to some. But the caramel is definitely very present in here. Um, I feel like caramel and maple go kind of hand in hand. I feel like they are very similar in a way. And so I think when you combine them together, they make this really delicious blend. And so I definitely get the maple in here and the caramel. This is Those are both definitely main notes that I get in here. Um, as far as the pumpkin goes, I get a slight pumpkin note. It's not one of the main notes that you get in here. It's not like the show star, but I do think that there's a pumpkin note in here with um, some spiciness. It's kind of more in the background tying everything together, but there is like a spicy pumpkin in here. Um, and I think that that kind of plays into that cinnamon sugar and um, maybe that like glazed icing. Um, you do get this really nice like vanilla, almost like a cream cheese frosting from this one. Very similar to like the pumpkin cinnamon bun from Bath and Body Works. That's actually the review that's going to be up later today. Kind of like that same like icing that you put on a cinnamon bun. That is what I get in here. It is just so delicious. I really like this one. Um, if you are a fan of the freshly tapped maple, um, I believe that one has been discontinued now. But if you were a fan of that one in previous years, I feel like this is a this is a close dupe. I don't think it's as cloying as the freshly tapped maple. This has some of those side notes like the pumpkin and the vanilla icing. Um, and the butter, it's got different notes in it, but if you did like the um, the freshly tapped maple, I think you'll really like this one. And if you didn't, I would still give this one a sniff because they're not the same fragrance at all. This has some really nice notes in here. It's not just your maple, you're also getting caramel and pumpkin and vanilla icing in this really like delicious gourmand croissant dough. Um, it's really good. It also reminds me a lot of the new country Kringle warm Cinnabons. That one I've been burning a lot lately and I'll have a review of it um, later on this week. But I think that they're both really great fragrances and they're kind of in that same family. And I've been burning them together and they just make this delicious heavenly pumpkin like pumpkin um, cinnamon bun blend honestly. It's just so good. I really really like this candle. I think this is definitely going to be a new one that they're going to be keeping in the collection for Yankee. I definitely see this one doing well and returning next year. So that's my thoughts on this scent. All right, let's talk about performance on this one. I've kind of already shared the wicks of everything, but the burn is doing good as normal for this signature formula from Yankee. Um, I find that these burn very cleanly for me. Um, you do have to trim the wicks on most of them, but it seems this year you don't, um, and they're not sooting or getting out of control or anything. I mean, I've already shown you, but as you can tell, they are very contained. They're doing well for sure. The burn is nice and clean. You get a solid, um, you get a solid pool of wax out of this. So the burn is doing great. No issues or complaints about that. Um, the strength and throw on this one. This one does pretty well for me. I get almost a solid seven out of this one. Um, again, for those who find it cloying, you're probably not going to want to have this one be overly strong. I don't think I would want it to be any stronger than what it is, to be honest, because it is just such a like sweet, like maple caramel type scent. And so I don't think I would want this to be too much stronger than it is. I feel like I can just get a good like max two hour burn out of this and then I'll blow it out and I'll be fine. Um, and maybe that's why I haven't really gotten through this one too quickly and I've been burning it. But um, yeah, it has a nice solid strength on it. The throw is also like a solid seven. I don't think it's filling up my entire house, but if I put it in the entryway, it definitely fills up that area nicely and um, as well as the kitchen or any of the larger spaces in our house. We do have a pretty open concept home, so um, it can be hard for some candles to fill up the room, but this one actually does pretty well. So. Yeah, um, really great performance out of this one. I'm really liking this scent. Um, I will say one thing, if you love this scent and you want more strength out of it, 
I would check out the three wicks. Um, this one is available in a three wick from Yankee, and I really love the three wicks because it's the same. Um, it's the same. Um, sorry, blinking on the word. It's the same formula as the signature candle, but it has your extra wick, so you get more strength and throw and intensity out of it. So if you're looking for that, then I would definitely check that out. And then also they have wax melts for this one. Um, so if you like the wax melts or the centerpiece melt cups, you can definitely pair those alongside to give it some more strength and throw. But anyways, guys, that's my thoughts on the pumpkin maple creme caramel. Sorry, that's like a load to say. <laughs> anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Let me know your thoughts on this candle down below in the comments. I would love to hear what everybody thinks. Do you find this one to be enjoyable? Is it too cloying for you? Let me know down below in the comments. I will leave a link for this candle if you're interested in shopping. As always with Yankee, wait for a good sale for, uh, you know, if you're interested in shopping. But um, anyways, thanks so much for watching. Like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye.